Hey guys, my name is John Suits and I want to welcome you to our channel, Greenfish Nation. You guys stay tuned for more information about good old bass fishing here. Guys, I want to welcome you to Greenfish Nation. I hope you enjoy this channel. We're going to be informative. We're going to be educational. We're going to share our information as well as gain information from yourself through your comments. I invite you to go and subscribe to Greenfish Nation. Give us a like on our videos if you like those. Drop a comment, tell us what you like or don't like about our content. Uh, if there's something that you'd like to see us do or talk about or something you need to know about, how to do a certain knot or what kind of rod to buy for certain situations or just what kind of bait and how to use it, feel free to drop us a comment on the video. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all under Greenfish Nation. We have a group page on Facebook. It's simply called GFN. You can comment, share your weekly, daily photos of your catches. We love to see those guys. I just want to welcome you here again, and let's get back to some bass fishing. Guys, I want to tell you about this little spot I'm fishing today. This is a spot that I... I grew up fishing as a kid. I started fishing here when I was about 10 years old. This is a real important spot to me, just other than it being a, a basis for my fishing started. Uh, this is what I call my confidence place. Uh, if I get a new bait or if I want to try a new technique or whatever, this is where I come to before I take it to the big water out on the lake. So you guys stay tuned. Let's see if we can't catch one. Today I'm working with a little uh, little chatterbait from Academy. Got a little swim bait uh, tail on it there. I ain't real confident in these, uh, so we're gonna try to build a little confidence. So you guys stay tuned here. Let's All right, guys, we're gonna get out here. Out here in the deep water, there's a big hole out here, and sometimes old Big Bertha likes to lay around out there. So let's see what we can do. That should be right in her neighborhood. Looky there, guys. Well, it ain't Big Bertha, but it'll do. It's a fish. Might be one of Big Bertha's sons. I could throw that thing right in his mouth. Not a bad little old pond bass. Remember I said this is my confidence place. So I'm more or less looking for numbers than I am size. Well, they seem to be liking this chatterbait. And this is building my confidence in it, so this is what we're here for. Another nice little fish. Guys, this is a real good time to uh, give you a little tip here on your uh, chatterbait, swimbait setup. I like to uh, take a little extra time and uh, Make sure when I put this uh, put this on that hook, I want to make sure that I get that real even and real straight. Take a little extra time here, getting this done, and put that on there. Make sure it's pushed up on there good. That's pretty straight on there. If you guys can see that, uh, I like for it to be kind of bowed down just a little bit. That's just my personal preference. That way your bait will run straight and uh, do you a better job. So that's your little tip for the day, okay?
There's another little one. He ain't that big, but boy, you talking about bringing some kids out here and having a good time. They'll do it with that size right there. Guys, they did it again. There's our tail gone. Time for a new swim bait. Hey guys, while I'm putting this swim bait on, I wanted to talk to you about a little feature that we're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna have a monthly uh, a monthly guide here on uh, the Greenfish Nation. Uh, gonna be featured from uh, different different lakes and maybe even portions of the country for different lakes. If you guys have a uh, particular lake you want to know about or guide you want to talk with, drop me a comment. Uh, let me know who it would be and I'll try to get a hold of them and I'll talk with them and we'll try to get some lake breakdown information stuff from them help you guys be better anglers on a on a certain lake there's lots of uh resources on youtube on youtube for that but we'll try to we'll try to even do a better job out there guys let's get back to bass fishing again make sure you got a good straight presentation on that bait make that thing run true and right for you and you'll catch more fish Fish on guys, fish on. Again, he ain't a giant, but he might be to a little kid. He's still fun to me. Guys, I want to talk to you about a high percentage spot right here. If you notice, we got a little a little neck right across here going from there over to this side of the pond that one a big fish uh it's narrowed down so your fish have a narrower area to travel through so your percentage of catch right there if the fish are in this area is going to be a lot higher also i want to talk to you about fan casting areas like this if you was to look at a clock and say cast nine o'clock 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, and 3, you pretty much cover this whole area here. So let's give it a shot and see what we come up with. This is going to be our 9 o'clock cast.
Now we're going to hit our 10 o'clock cast. That was our 11 o'clock. Now we're gonna we're gonna hit this 12 o'clock. This 12 o'clock is gonna be right across this ridge right here. It's not only narrower, it's also shallower. So you might want to keep your rod tip a little higher on that. There's our 12 o'clock fish. Again, guys, we ain't out here expecting to catch a giant. We just want numbers today to build our confidence up in this chatterbait. So there's our 12 o'clock fish. Let's see what we got, anything at one, two, or three. Missed one right there, guys. Three o'clock. We're gonna go right back in there after him. Give him a second look at it. Guys, here brings up a good point right here. It's real important to check your bait every time. You can see there we got a bunch of old goop on there, old moss, and see how our swim baits move back down on the hook now. Go ahead and check your bait. I like to look at it every time. You do this enough and you'll be able to tell by feel that it's not, uh, that it just ain't right. So we got it back up where we need to be. So we're gonna go ahead 
we're gonna get a four and a five o'clock cast out of this as well. Four o'clock fish, guys. Four o'clock fish. He hit a little closer to this bank. He wanted it four o'clock. Not too bad. Make some little kids' day. Look how pretty these fish are. They're just have beautiful color. This place is just clear as a bale. Um it's got a little moss in the bottom of it, as you guys seen earlier, but sure makes for a beautiful fish. He didn't want to go back out. He's trying to get back on the bank with me. All right, here we go at five o'clock, guys. missed one right there we missed him let's give him a second look all right guys got a little bird nest in there I'm gonna show you a little trick I learned about getting these bird nests out, especially on this braided line. We'll see if it'll work for us. Leave your uh, reel engaged to where you can't cast it out. Turn your drag all the way back. And you can just pull that dude right out. Do you guys see that? Bird nest is out. I tell you what, if I'd have known this when I was a kid, it would have saved me many hours of picking line out with an ice pick or an awl or just whatever I could get a hold of. So I'm going to turn you guys just a little bit so we can get down here and watch some of these 5 o'clock fish here. Always remember after you do that, check your drag. Make sure where you want to be. All right, guys, it's time to move to another spot. I think we fan casted that one out. We got two fish off of it, so that's not too bad. So let's move somewhere else. Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about another thing that we've got going here on Green Fish Nation. Once a quarter, we're gonna feature Jeff Sprague, Major League Fishing Pro, and he's gonna talk a little tournament talk with us and try to make you guys out there that are tournament fishermen be more successful. So you guys be sure and stay tuned and tune in for Pro Talk with Jeff Sprague. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. All right, we've moved around to a different spot. I've moved the, the car and the boat. Uh, I always just bring my boat wherever I'm going because it's just like my giant tackle box. So we're going, we moved around. I'm going to grab a couple more of these little, uh, Oh, uh, little swim baits. I lost my lost my train of thought there for a minute. We're gonna walk over here to this other little place. It's a it's a real small pond. It's I don't know. It might be a quarter of an acre, maybe. It's got some decent fish in it. It's down low as well. So you guys stay tuned, and uh, we'll get set up over there and see if we can't uh, rip some lips on the little water. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going over to the little water hole. Got a brand new little baby calf over there that was born this summer. 
few longhorns. Of course, we are in Texas, so you know longhorns are king. Maybe he's curious. Maybe he wants to meet y'all. So you guys see this pond I'm talking about here. It's it's not very big, but it's got a few fish in it. And it's about four, four and a half foot deep because it don't get any runoff at all. So let's get you guys set up and let's get to fishing. Guys, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work right down this bank here and then parallel to this bank right here, we got a little bit of a little bit of cover right here and then there's a little bit right down there and I'll turn the camera when we make our cast this way. But again, we're gonna fan cast. This time we're gonna go from, a, I guess you'd say about 12 o'clock, 12, 30, 11, 11, 30, 10, 10, 30, and then about nine o'clock. So you guys, let's see if we can't get something out here on this old chatterbait swim bait trailer. There we go. Guys, it's just hard to beat it. Man, you tell you what, you have a you have a hard day at work and you you come out here and get a few of these little dudes, they'll they'll put a smile on your face. Well we caught a couple little ones over here. Not too bad though. I'm definitely gaining some confidence in throwing this chatterbait. We're gonna head on back over to the big water. See what we can do over there. You guys hang around. All right, guys, we're back over here to the big water hole. It's, I don't know, about three and a half, four acres. Used to train dogs out here in a former life when I was a hunt test dog trainer. Done a little field trial stuff too, but that was a long time ago. So we're gonna get out here and we're gonna fan cast down this bank again. Try to get you guys out of the sun here. Just work our way down through here and see if we can catch a fish. So y'all hang around. Oh, there he is right there, guys. Second cast over here. He's acting like a grown-up out there. That's a little better fish. We're getting a little bigger. Pretty much every one of these I've caught have been hit right there in the corner of that mouth like that. Y'all see that? Hang around, we'll get some more. There's another one. He ain't a giant, but he smells like fish. I got that one right in the top of the mouth. Hey guys, if you'll come with me, I wanna show you something right quick. Now I told you I always try to do something for the landowner. Um, if you guys will look right down here, I'm going to show you the first thing I've done for this landowner about seven years ago. Like I told you, I was a dog trainer and I had a pretty good little old dog and she, uh, she just wasn't smart enough to be a competitive dog and this gentleman needed a pet and this will tell you how much he loves his dogs. 
you guys can see that right there pepper my girl august 2nd 2017 well, i gave this gentleman pepper because she wasn't going to work out for me but she worked out for him for a couple years and uh he was grateful for her and i was grateful for her to have a home and now he's returning the favor by letting me fish this awesome piece of water that I call the honey hole or my confidence spot. All right, guys, this is gonna be our last spot for the day here. We we may have a couple of different camera angles, but uh, we're gonna fan cast a little cove right down here. We got some cattails right across, straight across here. Then we got a flat right here in front of us that drops off into a little deep area out there. So let's see if we can't get one or two more fish and call it a day. There we go. He come in there and got on it. Oh, shook him off. I'll tell you what, guys, I said this is going to be it, but uh, there's so many fish moving around out there. And it's so shallow and so mossy out there. I can't really do much with this uh, chatterbait. So I'll tell you what, you guys stay tuned. I'm going to go tie on a weightless wacky worm. We'll see if we can't get one with that. Y'all all right, guys, went and changed uh, setups. Got a spinning setup here. Said I was going to use a weightless wacky worm, but actually uh, I've got a wacky worm tied on, but it's tied on with a drop shot. I know we're going to pull in a lot of moss, but uh, I think we can pull a fish in with it too. So let's see what we can do on this drop shot wacky rig. Uh, it's on an open hook. We'll see how that works out for us. There we go. You got on it. All right, guys, it's going to definitely be our best fish of the day. Not too bad. He hit it like he had a purpose, so we're going to try one more. another one a little better fish as well right there in the same corner of the mouth Man, I just can't hardly quit this guy. Trying to wrap this thing up, but I just gotta throw one more time. Well, they always say, just one more cast.
There we go. You, you can't quit on them. You can't quit on them. Can't quit on them if they're uh, if they're biting. You can't leave fish. Kind of like in the tournament, you can't leave fish to find fish. If you do, it'll bite you every time in the hind end. If they're biting, you stay with them till they quit. All right, guys, last cast here. We're gonna make one in that neck over there. Look at all that movement out there on the water. That's all fish. Just Sitting out there looking up and seeing that thing fly over and thought it was some kind of a predator. Something coming down to eat them. That's it, guys. I missed him. We're going to call it a day. Hey, guys. This is John Soaps of Green Fish Nation. I want to thank you guys for joining us out here today on the little honey hole on our confidence spot. We had a good luck throwing a chatterbait today. I've got a lot more confidence in it. Uh, I've never fished a chatterbait much. Just always fished other things. But uh, I'll definitely be trying it out on the big water, around the right type of cover, docks, grass, lily pads, just different things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I want to invite you back. I want to invite you to subscribe to our channel. Hit that old thumbs up button give us a like you can leave a comment and don't forget you can not only find us on youtube we're on facebook at greenfish nation or the group gfn we're also on twitter and instagram at greenfish nation till next time tight lines